Hi guys, welcome to Tile Fire Designs and welcome to Halloween card number two for 2022. Um, today I'm using the Thin Lights Colorized um, Costume Party set from Tim Holtz. So I hope you guys enjoy the card today and here we go. So I'll be using the Thin, thin Lights Colorized Costume Party set from Sizzix and this is part of the Tim Holtz line and I thought it was super cute so I decided I will make three cards this time and I hope you guys enjoy the first I'm going to follow along online to put the little guys together because it has a lot of pieces a lot a lot of pieces and once you cut them out and put them in order it's much better than what you see me doing spreading it out in a mess <laughs> by, the, by the final image I learned my lesson and I had it in order of how they are put together. So the first one I'm doing is the vampire. And he is super cute. And so all three of them are cute, but all super cute. So I have all the pieces and I have, as you can see, I have them in little baggies. So I won't lose anything. And I'm putting him together. I had to fast forward the video. I fast forward, speed up the video so it won't be that long of a video. Once I was done with the vampire, it was the mummy's turn. The mummy, money, the money. The mummy was much less complicated than the vampire. Little, less pieces, but still pieces. And I just follow along step by step, like I said, so I can finish up my mummy.
So I stopped the video to cut my extra eye that was missing from my mummy and forgot to record the rest of the mummy. But the mummy's completed and now we're on to what's his name? Frankenstein. <laughs> so Frankenstein is also cutie. Scary cute Halloween. So we're putting Frankenstein together. And like I said, you can look at the video and follow step by step. I'm Sizzix on the Sizzix website on YouTube. The Sizzix YouTube channel. You can find the colorized, the thin let's colorize images and they give you step by step the colors you need. And I mean you don't have to follow the color, but the pieces or the steps that they're going step by step. That's why you see I keep rewinding and pausing my um iPad screen in the back so I can follow step by step. I also just dress up the mummy using walnut stain distress ink so he could look like he's been through some stuff <laughs> or he's been buried for a while.
Frankenstein was actually the hardest to put together because he has like little pieces like for his stitches and his one little his three little tooth teeth so he was a little challenging so I had to keep winding and stopping and all that good stuff so all three images are completed and they are so cute so cute and now we're gonna put our three cards together so my first card I'm using this unraveled stamp set from Tim Holtz it's actually from his this year's release so I'm using three of the three of the backgrounds that I colored in my first video using distress inks and I'm using a, a different amount of stamp sets to create my scenes and my sentiments so I use this stamp with a bunch of bats from the Tim Holtz Unraveled set and I'm going to use my oops already messing my hand up um, I'm going to use my onyx black ink to stamp my bats and the background you see there I was trying to give the illusion of the sun setting kind of thing so Then you know that this um, honest black ink takes a little while to dry, but we're gonna continue. Um, I cut a piece of black cardstock for the bottom to create like a ground <laughs> or a little dark hill kind of thing, and we're gonna add this to the bottom. And of course, my favorite, my favorite tree. Halloween tree of all time. I've been using it for years in my series and this um, This tree is from It's a spooky tree from Cherry Lane Designs. I'm not even sure if they make they, they make it anymore or Where I can find it, but I'll try So I cut it out with some black cardstock and I want it on the other side of my scene I'm trying to leave some space between the tree and the back so it don't look too too busy and then I'm gonna cut off the excess at the end And the sentiment came from the stamp set by Whimsy Stamps. The stamp set is called Monster Close Ups. And the sentiment says, Moo ha 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 ha. I guess. <laughs> um, I stamped it on some black cardstock with white embossing powder. And then I'm going to add my vampire on this side. I guess vampire makes that sound, right? Moo ha ha. I guess. <laughs> So I'm gonna add my vampire, add my sentiment, and add this to a black card base.
the last minute I decided to add some water to to the background area to add a little more dimension to the scene and I should have done this before I put it together but just realized and it didn't take off much but it's cool For my mommy, I used this blue scene that I created again from the first video, the one that where I left the moon in the background. And I used the stamp set from Impression Obsession again. Um, it's a rubber stamp um, with the scenes with the trees and stuff in the background. And this set is called Graveyard Scene. I used it in my first card and I made an error and said that it was from Whimsy. It's actually from impression obsession so I stamped the scene in black onyx black ink again and add my little mummy to the right For my Frankenstein, I use this purple background and I use this stamp set from MFT to create my floor and this set is called On Solid Ground and I stamp it on a piece of white piece of cardstock. I use my Copics to color it, um, some brown Copics to color it and we're adding it to our floor. Then I cut this um, rectangle from my rectangle stitch die set from MFT and I want to create like a table filled with um, scientist stuff, scientific stuff. But I, I cut off the bottom of the, the rectangle but I still felt like it didn't seem like a table. So I cut the center of it off so it has two legs but for my scientific stuff I use a stamp set from MFT and it's called cute chemist and here's where I'm cutting my table table only has two legs ha 
I need to see if I find a die that has like a desk kind of thing or a table. But anyway, I add it like so. And then the stuff we stamped from the Cute Chemist set, I stamped a bunch of, I don't know what you call those things, um, like tubes and scientific tubes and stuff, bottles, <laughs> and cut them out, color them with Copics and cut them out. And we're going to create a scene on the table. I decided to add some black foam adhesive in the back of my table to add some dimension. I see that something burner, Bamson burner, something like that. We used to call it in chemistry. But anyway, I'm trying to make it look like that one on the end is actually in hot water. <laughs> so it's giving off steam. Then we add our little guy at the right side. And that's it for the final card. So here are the three cards that I created. The All the sentiments came from the um, Whimsy stamp. Monster close-ups stamp set. This one says he's alive. The mummy says curses. And of course, you know the vampire <laughs> says ha <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah. But these are my three cards. I hope you guys love them. And just leave me a comment and let me know which one is your favorite. Mine, I don't know because I love them all. But if I had to choose, I would choose my Frankenstein scene. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
And I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.